Do not adjust your TV sets. Yes, Pete and I really are this brown. Yeah. Um, that's what yeah, two weeks in the sun does it. I haven't played the guitar oh. for three weeks. I, I had a guitar with me oh. uh, um, in Wales on the cliffside in this old train uh, rail, what is it called? Like a, a carriage. Uh, blah, 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 blah. A, a rail you carriage. You stayed in a train carriage? Yeah, on the hill in Wales, awesome. overlooking the, the, it was amazing. Beautiful Pembrokeshire. Tiny, yeah, absolutely. Mm. Tiny little anyway. kids, like four years old, jumping off these cliffs straight into nothingness. It's you know like, the, what though? These pedals here, they, they, kept, they had the best summer holiday of all. Did they? Because these are built in Greece. Uh, yes. And well, it's uh, beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I have to be totally honest with you. Whilst I absolutely have heard of many people saying how great they thought the jam yeah. waterfall is over the years. Yeah. I've never really stocked jam pedals here at Anderson's. And then, of course, the wonderful, beautiful people, uh, Dan and Mick from that pedal show. Hello. Um, of course started talking about how great they thought this uh, the Jam Rattler was, ended up doing like a limited edition TPS version of it. Yeah. Which I should say is only limited in how it looks, doesn't sound any different to this one. It's um, and I thought, well, we better, we better dive yeah, a bit deeper dive into, into this Jam sandwich. Yeah. Um, <laughs> got loads of pedals in stock now, thought we'd grab some, uh, a ra you know, not a random selection, but a, a few different drive pedals and uh, chorus pedals and delay pedals here and just plug them in. Uh, see what they sound like, uh, and Mr. Pete? Yes, the Rattler is the, is the one that everybody's talking about. I've not plucked it in yet. I went to uh, Pedal Train HQ, pedal, not Pedal Train, pedal, pedal Show. Pedal Show HQ. I've had my parents over for like a week talking Danish, so now I have to readjust into, into English. It's really strange, man. They wow. say I talk really weird. So anyway. Well, the Rattler let's, let's, is... Um, Jam's version of the Proco Rat, yes. uh, but it's a bit of a weird one now, really, because the current day, like 2019 Rat, doesn't use the original op amp that the Rats back in the day did. I suspect it's to do with availability and cost and stuff like that. And obviously, yes. the Proco Rat's quite an affordable pedal yes. nowadays. Whereas the Jam Rattler does use the sort of original op amp back from the day and there are actually two versions of the rattler you've got the standard version here and you've got this amazing uh limited That's, edition version of it, yeah. which uses an even rarer uh nos um that's amazing lm308 op amp oh my in there. god but, you're you're hey. rattling off all of these specs so <laughs> let's have a little let's start with the rattler because I, I suspect this is going to be the most popular one um yeah give us a clean call yeah. sort of types of distortion pedals <laughs> there great. aren't like you know you'll always talk about people hearing about tube screamer clones or clon clones or whatever and the the rat is is again it's one of those distinctive it doesn't have necessarily that sort of bass cut that a tube screamer has it's a more aggressive sounding almost bordering into distortion fuzz rather yeah. than overdrive yeah um anyway let's let's see what happens it's, if we it's tweak awesome, some of the pedals. Man. sounds great Here we go. There's a 
there's an interesting thing happening on the level control here about how much extra bass comes in when you take the level from about maybe number, I guess like one o'clock or two o'clock on a clock. So if you, if you on play, a clock, on a clock. if you play, and I'll just literally go from here. You hear the amount of bass. On. Here it was That's some humbuckers. Great. I mean, the, the the rat for me always conjures up visions of sort of eighties high gain. Um, I think that was when it kind of came into its sort of prominence. I love uh, that. But it's, a, it's just a distinctive great. kind of drive. So we're just using an affordable um, LTD EC two five six because they're on special offer. Oh, two hundred and ninety nine pounds. What? Anyway, yes. Uh, but great, we're just man. using the the bridge pickup on this and let's have a little listen what pickup. they do. Yeah. Oh, just already. Yeah. It's pushing the amp more. Yeah. So. It's so what I like, gutsy, like to see, isn't it? Yeah, it is, it is. I'm not good with the squeals. I anyway. like it, I like it, it's great, it's great. <laughs> Can we get a super close up on Pete's face, please? Like super, super tight, just around about here. Imagine, this is, this is, this is literally what a standard Friday night at the Hanori household is something like. Anyway, so uh, We've I- got matching sets at home. I bet you do. Um, what you can see, in, as well as having this beautiful leather case, this is the limited edition one, as well as having this beautiful leather case, it's got this NOS version of the LM308. Yeah, we'll zoom in on and that. And if we, you can you see- No, we'll have to- Over here, open it up on the- Can we see inside here? <laughs> Basically, you can see this one is like the hand-wired kind that of version, amazing. whereas the standard one is the sort of the uh, the PCB version. We'll get a proper close up. We'll try that. and get a close up on that. So it also has a little high and low gain switch. Uh, and it does rolling. sound a little different. I was talking to Dan uh, Dan Steinhardt earlier Steinhardt, on, Leos. and and he was sort of explaining. He understands why this one is more expensive because of the way it's made and the uh, the the scarcity of the components that are in it now. Um, but he actually said he preferred the sound of the of the standard rattler, but that's subjective. You may Absolutely. prefer it this is. one. Um, uh, let's have a little strum of it. Much more saturated. Get back into the guitar it's, game, man. It's more squidgy. It's more it's squidgy, like a, squidgy. I don't know, like that. How you do that sort of when guitars distort and they compress a bit, and you get that squidginess. Yeah. It's, it's more that. <laughs> I like the leather as well, it but looks I'm a sucker. Wicked. I'm a sucker it for leather. Wicked. That's the thing. I'm going to start my own company now, doing little leather jackets for all pedals, <laughs> uh, and I shall sell it on the basis that if you keep them warm, they uh, sound a bit better. It smells of new car. Total lie, obviously. Um, anyway, that's that one. There is also in the range, which we'll plug in now. The guess what this is based on? This is called the Tube Dreamer. Um, 
obviously based on a tube screamer. It's been in the catalog at Jam for ages, back in the day when not everybody did an 808 ripoff. Uh, but now, of course, everyone does do an 808 ripoff, so I guess this will just be one of many one of 808 many. pedals yeah. you but could go and get. But with a little extra thingy-majiggy there on the little switchy switchy yeah. Rooney. I love the design of these. Yeah. They, they've, they're, they're all, all packaging made, as well. Everything, the painting, everything is made in, in Greece. Yeah. The boards, everything. Out of Greece or in Greece? It's made in Greece, out of Greece, <laughs> absolutely. Right. Yeah, so there we um, go. A tube so, Dreamer. Tube Dreamer, clean sound as before. Conventional tube screamers. Well, it's, it's not much a, softer it's not clipping than the uh, than the Rattler, isn't yeah. it? Much softer, more like an, a classic overdrive. Yes, rather but than... not as nasal as tube, some tube screamers get. Why is that, Lee? Why? Well, because I've always every... wondered why. Is, and some of the tube screamers are more. Mm. Mid, hum, but that's, I think that's what when when a pedal designer comes to it and they go right. There's only a finite number of different yeah. basic components that I can use to make this. You know, so it's, it's going to end up being either tube screamery or clonny or whatever, ratty or whatever. Yeah. And then I think they just they just EQ it how they like it. And if yeah. they if they have a certain amp or they have a certain you know play style for a up certain it. guitar, that's how they'll voice it. Um, Ponchons. And then it's a good word. up to you what you like and what you don't. But here we go. Let's have a little. I can imagine if you just have another view, that amp is slightly driven. But you want it, a little bit more. It's nice. Mean. I don't know. I mean, maybe a boost in front. But I mean, you, you, if you had the amp a little bit more hotter, yeah. you may think I mean, it that's, that's an, these things need to be played loud. I always find that with the tube screamer, it needs a really high headroom amp right. to really come out. And, you know, otherwise, they're kind of they're siddling around down there going, I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, so that's the on. tube screamer. One more, <laughs> one more drive pedal. The Red Mark, there's a couple of fuzz pedals actually in the, in the jam range. There's the Eureka over there, which is a simpler, just a single button. Uh, type of fuzz muff kind of bass. I valve. just had a moment. Did you? A oh, Eureka. <laughs> Eureka <laughs> moment. Um, so so the red muck is a, a fuzz sorry, with a, a, an additional sort of boost thing. And a, <coughs> anyway, let's have a little listen. Yeah, sorry, I just caught something in my throat. Jazzy chords at the end. So the green, that, that's what turns it on and off. Mm. And then the red one adds the boost on its own. The, cool, the boost doesn't do anything. So that's the red mark. As I said, if you if you like the basic tone of that, but you want something a bit simpler, check out the Eureka. Johnson. 
Um, <laughs> that's all the drive pedals we've got. So let's do the waterfall. Yes. Hang on, imagine this was running away. Imagine this was running away. Yeah. And you were trying to catch it. Do you know what I'd say? No. I go, don't go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> That's what I'd say. Okay. This is a chorus pedal uh, with a depth and a speed and a minus and a V. Uh, I like switch. the V. Okay, so turn on that go. waterfall. Let's do it. These are all analog <laughs> modulation pedals as well. So big, warm. Oh, that's nice. Um, that is yeah. nice. And I'm uh, the, the the minus thing appears to just be a plus and minus. I don't know it's if like it's a doing fat, like a fat thing. It is it adding up. more or changing the phase? It does. Uh, it just fattens it. it up. I think it, it does just fatten it. Yeah. And the V, I'm guessing, is just a, a switch between chorus and vibrato. Vibrato. That's um, very nice. It sounds good. Again, I think these needs to be loud. I feel like they, we should be much louder. Well, I, do you know what I think we will do? Before we unplug this, let's put a classic chorus and delay combination together with the um, with the llama. The, de the Delay Llama, another <laughs> delay llama. brilliantly named pedal. There's a few Delay Llamas in the range, like different deluxe versions of it and ones with Let me get you a tap there from... tempo and things like that. But we've just got the simple, we just, we've got the original we just... uh, Tibetan Delay, delay Llama. Delay Llama. Back okay. in the room. So uh, here we have the Delay Llama again with mm -hmm. um, level, time and repeats. Mm -hmm. That fabulous kind of um, slightly uh, mellow repeat. It's not. It doesn't have the the sort of the crystallization of the top end that a digital delay would have. It's just got that. It's like a. Just turn it right up. Be like the Woody Woodpecker. He's gone. He's gone. He's flown off. That's great. Um, yeah, it's, you're right. It's, it's very much the analog type. Yeah. It's a slight uh, modulation on there. Oh, it's even got a bit of distortion. As the, as yeah, the I think that sort of... thing we because we're running straight into the amp. The amp's got a slightly minor on the front. I don't end. know. I've... It's like it's the way the delay the changes forget, as, yeah. it, as it yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. Uh, repeats more and more. Love all that, don't you? You know what? If you, I love if, you love, if you love all that, you want one of the bigger ones, which has got the expression pedals input, and then you can and kind you can of do all that malarkey. So there are. We're not going to plug these ones in, but there are basically um, like extra versions of the of the With a tap delay. Tempo so, on it, right? Uh, yeah, of the just the delay lamas, but then you can also go and buy pedals like the uh, Retrovibe or the Ripley Fall, which is. Was it just um, down the road? Yeah, Ripley Falls, uh, which are things like delays and. Uh, sorry, which are things like choruses, phasers, and vibratos yeah. and stuff in one. So look. Let's uh, let's get some just get some beautiful tones with that. 
basically that's the the end of our little jam run through if you visit the anderson's website there are <laughs> other videos of all the jam pedals embedded within our product pages of those things so they're very cool they're very um, very cool i know i haven't they? talked about pricing maybe the editor uh, has put the pricing on screen as we've talked about them Perhaps. but everything here is kind of as you'd expect for sort of handmade more boutique kind of yep. pedals so not much for sub 200 pounds and then it goes up to about 300 pounds depending on which one you want to buy yeah. uh, but they're very good the rattler is the one that's that's <sighs> 189 quid 189. I, 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 that's, I can see myself having that on my board. Well, Did you know what I heard? I saw that uh, Nile Rogers has got one of these, I think. Has he really? I think so. Yo, Yanis, at Jam Pedals, the, like the dopest, coolest, and most amazing uh, wah pedal um, I've ever worked. You, you make fantastic stuff, and um, like every record I'm playing on now, I'm using it, and it's just great. Piece. So, one more okay, pedal. So let's take one more pedal in. I think maybe the uh, so slightly kind of yeah, not too so not dirty. too dirty. Well, there you go. Little collection of pedals here. Um, mm, delicious. We've just put three little <laughs> delicious jam sandwich pedals together here. Um, <laughs> so much banter with that. I know. Link. They must hear all dive on down to the description below this video. You'll find links to the jam Ooh. section of our website. Um, and there we go. Pete, do you want to just play us out with this yeah. little combination of delay and? That's going again, isn't it? Sounds like a cricket. <laughs> Thank you.